grasshopper populations may be lower this year due to the drought. However, now that grasshoppers have reached adulthood, they can cause significant damage to new fields of winter wheat. UNL Extension entomologist Bob Wright says wheat farmers need to plan for these adult grasshoppers, which are larger and have larger appetites. The seedling wheat is a very small plant, so it doesn't take much feeding to damage them. So first thing is just be aware if you've had grasshoppers in areas surrounding where you're going to be planting the wheat that you need to be thinking about how to manage the grasshoppers. You don't want to plant uh, beyond the agronomic recommendations, but plant toward the end of that. Just try to avoid the amount of time the grasshoppers have to feed. As it cools down in the fall, they don't feed as much, and if we do get a freeze, they'll, they uh, would be killed off. It may be worthwhile to uh, increase the seeding rate on the borders to allow for some uh, injury without having a total loss of stand. There are some seed treatment insecticides that have to be applied before you purchase the, the seed, but those at the highest labeled rate uh, help a little bit. They're systemic, so they can reduce the feeding. Probably the, most e the easiest thing is to try to treat the areas outside of the wheat field to uh, reduce the grasshopper populations before the wheat emerges.